Well, it has certainly been an interesting couple of weeks since the Maiden of the Mustang. Uh, as I discussed in that video, I needed to run the engines a little bit richer than what I had been running running that one at. And I've reread the manual a couple of times and there's a few paragraphs that really stand out. Caution, running the engine with a lean gas mixture will cause the engine to overheat. And then there are a couple of paragraphs here. The carbon mixture adjustment starts with the low speed circuit. The low speed should be set such that a transition from idle to full throttle is smooth, even if the throttle is snapped to full. This will likely result in a slightly rich idle mixture, but you're better off with that than a rough transition. And then it goes further to say, the high speed circuit is properly adjusted when the engine can reach maximum RPM while in the air, which is usually slightly richer than when it's on the ground. So a general rule of thumb is to richen the mixture on the ground RPM by about 200 revs per minute. Now, yes, you, yes, of course you can do that by ear, because it's just literally a matter of richening the mixture and you can hear it, you can quite clearly hear the pitch and tone change of the engine when it starts to when it starts to um, richen and the revs start to drop uh, and I get the process the process will be that I adjust the Mustang engine I'll richen it up a little bit I'll take it for a fly see how it flies in the air come back down adjust and so on and so forth so you know it's probably going to take four or five flights to to get there but I'm interested in when you do do it by ear and you do hear that tone change how how many revs per minute are we actually coming off? Uh, are we coming off 50, 150, 500? So I'm curious to know exactly how many revs we are coming off. So I bought a handheld tachometer to try and do that, and that was crazy. Um, here's some video of me trying to do that. So I'm trying to hold the video camera, hold the uh, hold the tachometer hold this um, you know next to the prop and it's crazy it just doesn't work so I went and bought myself one of these uh, tachometers which is attaches to the um, ignition system on the motor so we'll be able to see quite accurately the rev status uh, during the you know, the tuning process so just another quick bit of info on these motors these is that there's two there's currently two type of types of carburetors going around for them the the sort of let's say the older style come with the WT962 carburetor and then the newer models come with the WT1183 carburetor I spoke to the Australian uh, importer of RC, RCGFs and he said if you're running a if you're running a motor with the sort of the older style WT962 it will run perfectly well uh, it's just that they have slightly improved the carburetor with the 1183 version so I've got the I've got the side exhaust version uh, set up on the the stand here and we'll start it up and we'll put the we'll put the uh, rev meter onto it so just just quickly in in starting these motors up it's they're pretty straightforward and I know that sounds really frustrating to someone who's had problems with it as long as you've got fuel which is coming through through into the carburetor you've got a spark and you've got your needles set even roughly right the the engine should start okay um, now the fuel can be 20 to 1 30 to 1 40 to 1 it doesn't matter the engine will start now obviously if you're running it in you want to have a 20 to 1 30 to 1 mixture if you've been running it for a while you can move up to a 40 to 1 mixture but the point to get the engine started is that you can use any mixture your needles the needles are as per pretty much as per by the book so that's the side exhaust version so they're saying the side exhaust is 1.5 on the low and 1.5 on the high so if you start with the needles in that position the engine should start so let's see how we go I will hook up the fuel line obviously I'll plug in the battery I'll attach the um, RPMs and let's see how we go right I've got that all set up this is crazy I'm working out of my shed it is the smallest shed in the world and I'm trying to start a motor so as we can see we have the tachometer I've got the cable well and truly away from the prop 
so let's just move that a little bit further away I think now we are live I've connected the fuel hose we've got power we are good to go just another quick thing on starting these motors the number one reason why I can never get my motors to start is I forget to connect the reader on the um, engine here through to the sparking mechanism that's the number one reason why I get it wrong now the other thing is I've just connected that fuel line so there's no fuel in there let me zoom in on that because when I put the starter motor on it you'll um, you'll see that draw the fuel in and then you'll hear a pop okay so we start with the choke closed I'll start it up I'll put the starter motor on it you'll hear a pop you'll see the fuel draw in we will then um, open the choke and she should fire away so let's uh, let's have a look here we are well and truly securely on yeah okay let's see how we go right start a motor in hand here we go Okay, you saw the fuel drawer in there. So I stopped the motor, let's go wide. Okay, and let's, uh, we, should, uh, we should now hear a pop. Here we go. Okay, I heard that pop. Let's open her up. Here we go. Okay, I just had to stop it there because I couldn't I couldn't adjust the needle setting from where I was sitting and I couldn't see the I couldn't see the RPMs either from where I was sitting so I've had to adjust this slightly so you can obviously still see the motor that's fine I can see the RPMs and I can reach the I can reach the relevant needles and things so Okay, so we are good to go on that. Okay, I've made another slight adjustment. We go wide. Right, so now I can clearly see the RPMs. Okay, here we go. Let's start her up again. Right, she's now live. That's all sitting in there. Let's uh, let me put the starter motor on her.
Wow, how was that? Okay, so I managed to I managed to take it off about 200 revs, so it didn't have to come off much. Right, I'm going to try the rear exhaust motor now. Right, okay, we're good to get back into that again. Sorry about that. Bit of stopping starting this time around. Where's our... Right, here we go. She should just start again. Wow, how crazy is this? It's nuts doing it in the shed.